guys and welcome back to another show of Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. It's been a long time, huh? Well, today I have some exciting news. We're making two different recipes keto. Um, the first one is very easy and the second one is a little more complicated. So for the first one, what we're going to be making is greens and ham. And for that, I have two smoked ham steaks. I have some greens that I bought at the store the other day. They were on sale in a bag chopped up for $1.49. And what you do with that recipe, and I'll put that in the description down below, is you just take a crock pot, two ham steaks, you fill it with water, you take the chopped up greens, and you add it to the crock pot and you put it on high, and then you let it cook all day. So when the water has pretty much soaked into the greens, that's when you're going to take out the ham steaks, you're going to chop those up, and I'll show you a shot of that too, before and after, but you're going to chop those up, and you're going to add it back in with the greens. So that makes a nice meal for your week. The other one we're doing, the other dish, is curried eggplant with rice, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two eggplants, and I got these on sale. They were a really good deal. I think they were like 77 cents each. But we're going to chop off the tops, then we're going to cube them, and we're going to add them to a bowl with some olive oil. Then we're going to put them on a baking sheet and put them in the oven and roast them. So what I did is I chopped up the eggplant and I added it to my large bowl and I drizzled some olive oil over it and I stirred it to coat. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add it to my baking dish and I'm going to set my broiler on to low. Now I'm going to boil one and a half cups of brown rice in vegetable broth. So for that, what I did is I added two pounds or 32 ounces of vegetable stock. And for the rest of it, since there's not enough liquid, I'm going to add water from a mason jar. What I'm going to do is boil the organic brown rice on medium high. You can cook it however you want. I know there's a lot of good recipes out there, but for me, this seems to be the best just so that my uh, brown rice doesn't turn into oatmeal like it does so many times. This comes out really fluffy and yummy. Okay, so the eggplant is out of the oven and out from under the broiler. What I'm doing is I'm letting it cool down and then I'm adding it to a big pot and I'll be adding it with onion, with garlic, and with ginger, and then eventually the spices. And this is what the roasted eggplant looks like in the pot before I've added the ginger, the onion, or the garlic. Now the first thing I'm going to do is add three tablespoons of olive oil to the pot before I turn the burner on. Okay, so I've added the olive oil and now I've turned my burner on to medium and what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up and add one whole medium red onion that's chopped to the pot. Why do I always have something in my hair or wind up with something in my hair when I'm cooking? Anyway, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take four garlic cloves, chop them up and add them to your pot, give the pot a stir, and then you'll add your next item or ingredient. Mmm, that aroma is amazing. 
Now what you're going to do is give that a stir and add one tablespoon of grated ginger. And what I do, like I said, with the um, garlic, I keep it in a vinegar bath, but with the ginger, I also keep that grated and processed. And I put that in a vinegar bath as well. So it's one tablespoon of grated ginger. Now give that a stir and add one teaspoon of curry powder. Now add one teaspoon of sea salt. Check your rice and add more water if you need to, which in my case I did, just so you can let it boil. Now stir your eggplant and add about a, a cup of water. Now add one teaspoon of smoked paprika. And fortunately for me, some already fell in the pot, so I just added a little less to the spoon as you can see. Now add one teaspoon each of cardamom powder and also pepper. Then give that a stir and add one quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Now add one quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. And add two teaspoons each of coriander powder and also cumin. Now give it a stir if you haven't already and add one half teaspoon of ginger. That's ground ginger is in the spice. Now turn your burner down to medium low. Just allow the flavors to blend together. And what you're going to do next is I'm going to take a whole can of diced tomatoes and I'm going to puree it. And from this can, I'm going to take out approximately three tablespoons of the puree and I'm going to add it to the curried eggplant. Now what I've done is I've stored the rest of the tomato puree so I can use it for another recipe and I'm going to store that in the fridge until I need it and I'll be using it within the next couple of days. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open this canned coconut milk and I'm going to take out three tablespoons and I'm going to put that in the curried eggplant. So now what I've done is I've turned that down to low and I'm just going to let it cook for another 20 minutes. The rice is almost done. When it's finished, I'm going to turn it off and then I'll take out some of the rice and I'll top it with the um, curried eggplant and I'll top that with maybe a dollop of plain yogurt. Yum yum. Okay, so this is my dinner for tonight and for the rest of the week. And we're just going to taste this and see how this turned out. Mmm. 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 This is a nice addition with the plain yogurt. It tastes really good. And you can buy whatever kind of plain yogurt you want. But, And I just wanted to mention, if you want more of a curry flavor than I did, you can add more to your, do your dish. And you can also probably add more cumin to it if you want. And salt and pepper, of course. Have a good one, guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. This has been a very fun recipe to make with you guys. Have a good one.